Hi everybody, thanks so much for joining me, Stampin' Sue Creates here. I've just been popping out videos all day today, haven't I? I'm going to be doing another machine embroidery video. Um, I mentioned it during my last video, and it is going to be um, doing an... Oh, and I just popped it out of the hoop. Darn it. Just picking it up and it popped out. Going to be doing a towel. And I believe I did this video once before. But um, I thought I would do it again in case you missed it. Now, these are uh, Norwex towels. And they don't recommend that um, you do anything to alter them. But um, I don't know, just because of their warranties and what. If you've never used Norwex towels, oh my goodness, check out Norwex. They're not sponsoring this. I'm not making any money on this. These are towels my daughter got for uh, Christmas gifts and they actually have hand towels and bath towels and they have towels for cleaning and towels for everything. They're super absorbent. The cleaning towels, you just need to use water to wash windows and everything. Totally amazing. So she wanted them um, embroidered with monogram on. So this is the monogram I'm doing and she needed R for her last name. So this is the um, hand towel. And so she gave me two hand towels and two bath towels, which they're basically the same. Here's the bath towel. Isn't that a pretty um, monogram? You see that? So the monogram was purchased through Etsy. And I will go to the uh, my Etsy store and I will copy the link for it. Like I said, I'm not getting any um, monetary donations from anyone regarding using their design or using the towels. It's just something I want to share with you. So let's go ahead and turn on my machine. And um, I was doing this earlier and because I was embroidering so many things today, I wanted to give... Um, bob a little rest here so let's go into the design and i have it saved um all, actually on my um embroidery machine because i just figured it was easier that way okay so i'm going to go into the embroidery machine and there it is um let me show you it here okay i'm not sure if you can see that oh kind of an odd angle um, but it is the initial R and I'm going to hit the embroidery mode so it's 13 minute stitch and it shows two different changes of color thread I'm doing the same color she won the navy but you can change the outline as one and the inside as another and it's only 13 minute stitch so it's pretty quick let me flip you back over now um, to the machine and what did I drop? Uh, I dropped the towel again. <laughs> I'm just uh, not having luck here. Okay, so the one I'm doing right now is the huge bath towel. So uh, let me just get this in here. Now, ahead of time, like I said, I um, sometimes this is a little awkward to get this in here. I have um, cutaway stabilizer and... It did have a piece of the plastic for the top. Oh, there it is. So I have it in a five by seven hoop. And I believe this might be a four four by four uh, size. So, okay, there we go. Now make sure nothing is caught underneath. Take a little peek, everything's flat. So cut away stabilizer. You know, let me just double check this hoop because when I was picking it up before, it kind of popped out a little bit. You don't really want that to happen when you're doing the embroidery. Okay, it feels good. Okay, and again, double check, take a little peek, make sure nothing's caught underneath it. Knock your lamp over. <laughs> okay, so because of the, um, it's not that they're not very thick, but just so the stitches don't get kind of lost in there, I'm just gonna fix my thread here so it's not coming out of the needle there we go I'm going to use a piece of water soluble stabilizer on the top and you want to do this when you're using anything that's kind of a little bit plush you know so that the stitches don't get stuck down into the fabric and um, I'm hoping that this is center it's kind of not looking like it is but it's just a towel 
I mean, you know, it's not going to really matter. These towels have like a little hook on them, so you kind of hang them by the hook. So I think if it's off a little bit, it's not going to matter. But let's see where it's going to fit in the uh, hoop just to make sure. Now, you know, that is kind of bothering me that it looks like it's not really in there in the center. Let me just double check. It looks like there's more fabric on one side than the other. So my analness is not, and pardon that pun, but not allowing me to go ahead and do this. So I'm just going to pop it out of the hoop and I'm just going to fix it a little bit so that the center of it, the corner, she wanted it in the corner, so when it's hanging, there we go. When it's hanging, it'll, um, you'll be able to see that corner. Normally you wanna do it kind of in the center, but um, because of the way these towels are and after you use them, just checking underneath, you kinda of hang them. There, I think that's better. I'm gonna do another check just to be certain, whoops. All right, I'm going to close this. I'm going to move the design down. Oh, it looked like it was kind of wiggling. Did y'all see that? Kind of looked like it was wiggling. I don't know. Okay, so now let's check out where it's going to stitch. There, there, there. It's a pretty big design. I, I do think it'll fit in a 4x4 four four hoop, though. Okay, let's see. That is about... It is about center, yes. Okay, I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna go ahead and um, let me open up the top of my machine. I have navy thread in the top and I have black in the bottom, cutaway stabilizer and um, water soluble stabilizer. Oh, I see what, ha what happened, hold on. I don't have it in the hoop all the way, that's why. All right, let's go back, boy I'm like, not doing very well today. I have to move it up. Okay, change to a larger frame. No, I don't want to do that. I'm going to go back to home. And I'm going to close. Okay. Sometimes, you know... Okay, this one. I'm going to start from the beginning. Okay, let's put this back in the hoop. I didn't have it all the way in the hoop and locked. That's what the problem was. So we're going to go back. And I'm going to bring up the design. Okay, there we go. Hit embroider. And let's see where it's going to stitch. Again, just to double check. It's always good to check twice. All right, that looks good. Okay, so I put the foot down. Now we got the green to go. I'm going to close this here and let's get this party started. Okay, so navy in the top, black in the bottom, only because of the fact that um, I didn't want to use white. You know, I wanted it to be a darker color. I didn't have navy bobbin thread, but I did have black. And this navy is a very, very deep navy, almost like a black. And again, I forgot my microphone, so I'm sure you can hear me because I'm right next to the phone as it's um, stitching. Maybe you want to come a little closer. There we go. Okay, so 13 minute stitch, and like I said, it does have, if you wanted to change the colors on it, the colors would just be for the outline along the letter and along the outside of the design. And um, this is a complete alphabet, and it was a purchase, again, through Etsy. And I believe I did a video on this when I first got it. And um, I did it on a pink towel. So in case you missed that video or you're just looking for something else to watch, here I am again. And I do love this little purple thing that um, I got off somebody's Etsy shop. It might have been um, Stephanie's Stitches. I follow her on her Etsy shop. She has a lot of great fabric and little notions and things. And um, I learned my lesson about sticking my fingers in the hoop, and I do not do that anymore. But this little purple thing, it has a flat edge on one, a little square flat edge, 
and the other has like this little hook on there. You can see that. And it's good when you're stuffing things. It's good to stick it here in the hoop when you have to flatten out something. Anything not to stick your fingers in the hoop. Lesson learned. Because you would not think. Now this is getting a little wrinkled, but you know what? That's okay because this is going to tear off when we're done. Um, you would not think that that needle would go through a finger and a bone, but it does. It is really um, embroidering at a very fast rate, and in a split second, you know, an accident could occur. So that's my recommendation. So today, again, is still New Year's Day, 2022, and um, this is my second video, but my going to be my third upload. So I've just been in the embroidery mode and uh, she asked me to do these towels and I thought, you know what, let me just get them done. I'm kind of like the type of person that if, um, if I'm able to get something done, I want to get it done now and I'm done with and it's done and over. God forbid something would happen with the embroidery machine. Not like it's life and death, by any means it's not. It's just, you know, I, it was something I need to do. so. I have the day today, so why not do it? And I'm telling you, these holidays that fall like on a weekend like this, man, it just, I don't know about you, but it's just like, what day is today? That's right, it's Saturday. Okay, tomorrow is Sunday. So then I have another day, and then I gotta go back to work and back to full-time work until, what's the next holiday? Easter, I guess. I didn't even look to see ahead as to when Easter falls this year, but pretty much no days off for me until Good Friday, whenever that may be. If you know that, put it down in the comment below so I can kind of figure. Usually March or April, right? I don't know when it falls this year. So this design, like I said, that has the complete alphabet A to Z, and you just, you know, load onto your USB what initial you want to use um, it's fairly large you probably can go into a software if you want to make it smaller and maybe do two initials but I think a standalone one initial is this is a perfect design and it does these really nice stitches so it kind of mats it down a little bit for you and then you have a little bit of the puffiness in the center with whatever your initial may be so the one I did on my towel was last, my last name is a, with a T like in Tom. And um, that came out beautiful. I still have people that watch that video, but I just thought I would update the video. And um, in case you missed out on that, sometimes, you know, videos load and people miss out. But um, I'm excited to do this for her. And uh, I sent her a picture of the hand towel I did. And uh, she seemed like she liked it. So, I guess there's no going back once you do it, right? But, I mean, it's just a towel. And this is a perfect project to work on if you are new. Um, go hit, hit your local Dollar Tree or Target or Walmart or any of those um, stores where you can pick up hand towels. Even Kohl's. If you get a coupon from Kohl's, use your Kohl's cash. You can pick up some nice towels. You get a bit of quality rather than Dollar Tree. Dollar Trees are kind of thin. Um, but if you're just practicing, you know, it's okay. But actually, um, no matter what towel you stitch on, I mean, it's a towel. It doesn't matter. So if it didn't come out perfect, you still can use the towel. You know, I mean, you're not going to throw it away, right? And uh, so it's a great project for beginners. If I have any beginners that are watching, I know I get comments all the time. And I just received a, a comment from someone that uh, said that, you know, they learned a lot. I don't really know what it is that I told you that you learned from, but if you walk away with maybe one new piece of knowledge, that's a good thing. And this is how I learned. I learned by watching other YouTubers and just by experimenting and finding what works for me. Because there might be something that works for me that might not necessarily work for you and you found find your niche and go at it from there okay so now it's finished with doing this whole design and i mean if you didn't want to do the outline you could very well stop at that 
but of course now it's going to outline around the letter and all around the design so like i said i'm going to stick with the same color if you wanted to change the color you can change your thread now and make it a different color so um this is eight minutes because it's going to go all the way around and do a real nice satin stitch and um then when we're done we're just gonna this wash away stabilizer is literally just going to tear away and then on the back i'm just going to use scissors to cut um this cutaway stabilizer and i do recommend cutaway on any clothing or fabric because if you use tear away it punctures little holes in it and sometimes from um how close proximity all these stitches are it may tear it and if you don't have a good base a good stabilizer that makes a big difference on your project project that you're working on sometimes depending on the stitches if they're really close together and really mass amount of stitches i'll even double up on my cutaway stabilizer on fabric that then um you don't have to worry about you know not having a good quality because the worst case scenario is that you you make these for a gift which i've done that before in the past for like a bridal shower i've made um you know mr and mrs and i want to make sure that you know the towels are going to last through washes so like when they when you're washing towels which i mean you wash towels a lot you want to make sure the stitch quality is good and it's not going to come out and um, it's not going to wrinkle all up so that's my advice as far as stabilizer is um is like the what's the words i'm looking for is it's what makes a good design stitch out or not all right that's looking really nice i like how the uh, letter how the r isn't just like a straight out it kind of curls up a little bit kind of it makes it a lot more richer looking this would be really nice too like on a bathrobe if you were making a bathrobe for someone and you wanted to put their initial on it just one initial that would make a real nice design because design is a real nice size so i'm making the same size on the hand towel as i am the bath towel you can go ahead and shrink the design just a little bit using software or sometimes you can even um, do editing right on your embroidery machine mine allows you to do a little bit of editing but um when you have designs like this they're kind of made for the size that they are so you just want to be careful when you're doing it on the machine versus using software and the software that i use which i don't use a lot but i have is called imbrilliance it's not necessary you don't have to have it but if you like to take maybe one file and merge it with another file or change sizes that's where the software comes in in handy for doing that then you could print it out on your printer like when i did my uh, son-in-law's i didn't do any video on that because i didn't want him to see it it was a surprise i did a robe for him with his monogram on i uh, did it through in brilliance and i printed it off on my printer then I was able to cut it out and um, pin it onto the robe where it would go. So then when I would go to hoop the robe, I had it pinned on and I knew exactly where it was gonna go, that it was gonna be straight and everything was gonna be good to go. But with these, I mean, they're just towels. So, you know, they're not gonna be hanging perfectly. They're just gonna be hanging from a corner. And, um, you know, sometimes we're our worst critics. You know, you look at it, you think, oh, wow, that doesn't, you know, but you give it to somebody else and they just think it's the cat's meow. You know what I mean? So don't be too hard on yourself if, um, like, I mean, that did bother me that that really, truly did not look like it was in the center of the corner. But um, if I didn't, you know, tell anybody and I just gave it to her, you know, she, well, my daughter probably would have noticed and probably would have said, you know, mom, that's like not in the corner. <laughs> But that's what daughters do, right? And if you're watching, Michelle, you know. You know I'm right. <laughs> so now she's just going to do the outline. And it's going to really make it stand out. I think going around the R like that really, really makes it stand out. I think you can see that pretty well. Still trying to figure out how I can um, maybe hang a 
camera from above, so you kind of have a little different view. But um, what I have right now just doesn't seem to be quite long enough. And, uh, well, we're working on that. We'll see what we can do with that. And I hate to um, clamp anything to the table here because from the vibration of the embroidery machine, I don't want you to think you're, you know, having like a stroke that it's like shaking and whatnot. So I have my camera actually standing on a stand on the floor so that it's not hooked to the table. And when I do my uh, stamping videos, I have it sitting right on the, the table because, I mean, I'm only stamping. But this uh, machine has a lot of vibration to it. So I just feel that that's best to have it a freestanding tripod kind of thing. But um, anyhow. So what are your plans? Anybody have any plans for the, the final day off if you're a Monday through Friday person that works? Any plans for tomorrow, for Sunday? It's supposed to be crappy weather here today. Crappy weather tomorrow. It's supposed to be raining. Right now it's it's raining, but it's, it's fairly warm outside. I'm kind of surprised at how warm it is. I just let the dog out to go outside, and if you have dogs, you may understand what I mean when she hits the doorway to go out and she stops and is looking because it's raining and she doesn't like to get wet. So you have to kind of like give a little boop in her butt and then down she'll go and uh, do her business and she runs right back in and then runs around the house like a mad woman. Like you would think that, you know, somebody shot her in behind with an arrow the way she goes running because she's wet and I guess she's trying to dry herself off. And I do normally keep a sweater on her, you know, when it's chilly, but I mean, it's been kind of warm. And I gave her a little dry bath the other day, I think it was yesterday, and uh, washed her sweater that she was wearing, and I just never put it back on her, because I thought it's really not that cold out. I don't want her to be too hot. She has very short hair, so um, it's not like, you know, she has a lot of hair to keep her warm, but she still has fur. And I uh, just don't want her to be overheated. All right, we're coming down to the home stretch here, another 200 stitches, and uh, then we'll be able to check it out. And then I have one more hand towel to do. So while this video is uploading, I'll be working on the other hand towel, and then I'll be done. I'll be all ready to, uh, to deliver them. All right. There we go. Listen for the music. Okay, all right, so let's unhoop it. And here's where, see how this just tears away? And then here on the inside of the R, we have our stabilizer in there. I'm just gonna use my little pokey thing to kind of get it started. And peel that out. Kind of reminds me of, um, when you have a sunburn and you, you know, you, you peel the skin, which is kind of gross when you think about it, but that's what it reminds me of. Now you can also just use a spritz of water if you like, but this usually just comes right out. If anything's left behind, you can use a little Q-tip or something. Okay, so there's our design. And um, if I flip it over to show you, let me, um, Take it out from under there. Here is, oh, it's very hard to show you. Here is the back. Real nice. See, we're using the black on the back. It really makes it look very professional. So I'm going to pop it out of here. Unscrew this. And take it out of the hoop. Put the hoop over there. And then maybe could get a better look at the design so there's the back so now all i'm going to do is i'm just going to take my scissors and i'm just going to cut around i'm not going to do that while i'm talking because i need to concentrate on that just cut around that uh, stabilizer and i'm just going to leave a little bit of it around and um and then we are good to go so there is uh towel number three 
Oh, you see, a little bit more stabilizer still to go there. And I have one more to go. And then Mama's chore is done. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope this helps you out and, um, and doing some embroidery on a towel. It's really easy to do. It's a great way to practice. And when it washes all these little squares, I'm not going to worry about getting that out. They will come out in the wash and, um, and we'll be good to go. So thanks for joining me. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, be safe and I'll see you back here again real soon. Bye for now.